Does the font you're using sometimes have a mind of its own? Learn how to fix that issue by utilizing the character panel in Photoshop. So when a font is created, the font creator can make any number of ligatures or alternate glyphs and build them into that font. Add this to the fact that in Photoshop, the default setting is to have standard ligatures turned on, and sometimes you get a set of letters or ligatures that you weren't expecting. So let's look at how easy it is to fix this in Photoshop. So here I am in Adobe Photoshop. I have a simple seven by five inch document open so that I can easily show you how this works. I'm going to get the horizontal type tool and in the tool options, I'll open the font picker and choose a font. For this example, I'm going to use Euphoria Sans because I know that this font has some standard ligatures. Now, here's a note about fonts. Not every font has standard ligatures built into it. If the font doesn't have standard ligatures, the standard ligatures icon will be grayed out in the character panel, which I'll show you in just a moment. And within each font, if it has standard ligatures, the standard ligatures that the font designer supplies can be different. It's all up to the font designer. The most common standard ligatures are when you have a double F or FI or FL and then so forth. So just keep in mind that every font is different. Not every font is going to have standard ligatures. And so I'm using this font because I know it has some so that I can show you how this works. So now I'm going to set the size to 72 points and I will set the alignment to center. I'm gonna click on the color chip and make sure it's set to black and then I'll click okay. So I also want to go to the character panel. So I'm gonna to go to window character to open the character panel and make sure the letting is set to auto and the tracking is set to zero. Now before I close the panel, I'm going to show you this icon right here is the icon for standard ligatures. And when that's clicked like it is, that means standard ligatures are turned on. And that's the setting I want to have. If for some reason the font didn't have any standard ligatures, it would be grayed out like this icon is right here or this one right here. So now I'll close the panel. And then on the document, I'm going to click once, and then I'm going to type the word love with a capital L. So I'll say L-O-V-E. And as you can see here, I'll click the check mark to commit. But doing that means all of a sudden I have an L-O that looks different from the rest of the font. Like the O all of a sudden got shoved up inside of the capital L. And if for some reason you don't like how this looks, one of the things you can do is you'll go back to the character panel by going to window character to open the panel. And then you can click on the standard ligatures icon to turn that option off. It's that easy. So I'm going to close the panel for a moment. And now we can see that my word is back to normal. But I want to show you one more example because standard ligatures aren't the only option that can sometimes mess up our letters. So here I've used the same steps as before to add another type layer to this document. I used a different font at a different size, but otherwise it's the same process. So in the menu bar, I'll choose window character to open the character panel. And then you can see that the standard ligature icon is still turned off from what I did before. So I'll just turn that back on and see if anything changes and nothing does. So none of my letter combinations here have triggered a standard ligature. But what happens if I click on any of these other icons that are available? This one here is for discretionary ligatures. And if I click on that, all of a sudden, all of my letter R's have been drastically changed within the font. So if I uncheck that, that goes away. And then this is another option that gets really crazy. So I'll uncheck that as well. But I just wanted to make you aware that sometimes for some reason, all of these options could be turned on and making your letters look crazy. And if that's not what you want, if you go to the character panel, you can click to turn all of these on or off as you would like. So that's how you use the character panel to turn off standard ligatures for a font. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing to our channel. This has been Jennifer Juris with Digital Scrapper. We help you get your stories told.